If you are a math teacher in a district that uses Google Classroom as your primary LMS, and your administration will not let you will not let your students uh, create uh, accounts with third party apps. And that frustrates many teachers and I'm hearing a lot of that. So I want to let you know with GeoGebra, you can still engage your students with active student centered discovery based learning. Um, they can create their own constructions in any GeoGebra app, whether it's classic graphing calculator, geometry, um, 3D, doesn't matter the app. But the thing is, there is a workaround where you can have your students create from scratch in GeoGebra's apps without and their work will save and they do not need GeoGebra accounts so you can make administration happy. I'm gonna show you here how to do it right here and right now. I'm gonna share my screen and show you as quickly as I can. So let's do that and let's rock and roll. So right here, I have created a, um, how do I say this? Right here, I've actually created a, a, a temp, a four templates here that you could uh, integrate beautifully in the Google Classroom. There's the graphing calculator, geometry, 3D and the uh, classic template. So let's pretend I'm a geometry teacher and my students, my students want to, are gonna come in from lunch and I want to assign them a task of constructing an equilateral triangle. It's a simple construction. So um, I, I know GeoGebra's uh, four apps, so I'm gonna to choose to use say the geometry app. I'll go here. Now keep in mind, this is a template. This is the geometry app right here, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna take this, we're gonna take this app right here. Let me just full screen it, sorry. We're gonna take we're gonna take this app right here and we're gonna copy it. Think of copy activity. See, you're gonna get rid of all my directions here and you're gonna make this your own. But this GeoGebra part is gonna stay. So I'll copy the activity, like so. And no, you notice how when you copy a Google Doc, it says copy of. Well, guess what? It's the same logic here. Copy of Google Classroom Geometry Template. So I'm just gonna call it, title it warm up. There we go. And uh, let's get rid of all, all these directions I'm pretty much doing in the video right now, so you don't have to bother reading them. But let's say uh, I'm going to clean this up, clean that up, and then basically say, hey, uh, directions for students, uh, please uh, construct an equilateral triangle. And then there we go. Now, I could add other elements here, too. I could add another GeoGebra applet, be either one that someone made or whatever. I can add a URL. Uh, I can insert an image, a PDF, a YouTube video, or add a question. All right. These are elements that you can play around with on your own. Again, you can custom build this activity. This part is here for you. It's just a geometry app embedded within this activity. You want another? You want two applets? Well, go ahead here and click duplicate. You can duplicate that one or copy it. And see, now I have two. Maybe I want my students to construct, construct something here and something different here, right? It's simple. Let's get rid of this. But again, you can make this your own. So I now go to save and close. And now um, I save and close it. Now, this is the original. This is the one you copied. If you want to see the copy you made, open up a brand new tab in your browser. Go to geogebra.org, the homepage. And you want to go to your profile, which is right over here. Your GeoGebra cloud, if you will. Think of all the resources, activities that you copy, create from scratch, whatever. They're in your profile. Okay, and look at that. The first thing I see is called warm up. Let me click on it just to look at it. Ah, directions, please construct. You see, you just took the template, you copied it, and now here it is. But see, here's the problem. If you give this URL to your students, then they can go here all they want. But they, if they don't have GeoGebra accounts, their work's not gonna save. Now I have to assign this activity as a task in Google Classroom. And here's how to do it. Um, there's two ways you could do it. It's the same thing, really. Go to the three dots in the upper corner here. You want to go to share. Click on share. And yeah, there it is. Okay. Another way to do that with even out looking at it is just simply you see the thumbnail right here, that those, those, those three dots, the same three dots we saw, you go to share. And let's, let's assign it as a task in Google Classroom. Okay. Hey, choose the class into which you want to assign it. I'm going to choose it now. I, I, um, whoops, yeah. Uh, I actually gave GeoGebra permission to access my Google Classroom classes. If you do this for the first time, you'll have to hit allow maybe twice or three times because GeoGebra cannot access your Google Classroom classes without your permission, of course, right? So warm up and I could say, hey, please do now or please do ASAP, right? And then I hit assign and look at this. Oh, by the way, notice I hit the button assign. Pretty soon, uh, there will be a save as draft option too, because you might not, this assign it to all the students in that sample class. But coming soon, you'll see save as draft, which will allow you to assign it, save it as a draft. And then in Google Classroom, you assign it to a subset of students. That's a flexible, awesome way to differentiate. 
each student's level of active engagement because you might not want to get it, give everybody the same task, if you will. So let's actually open it up in Google Classroom and see what it looks like. See, I mapped it there and boom, there it is. That's what it looks like as a teacher. But what I want to show you now is what it looks like as a student. So I am a student through another account in my class. I'll check the classwork here. See, uh, Mr. Brzezinski just assigned warm up. Let's see how it looks. Okay. And there it is. See, please do ASAP. There it is. So I click the warm up there and uh, it's prompt me to sign in again, I guess. So I'll sign in with that student account of mine. And look at this. If I just uh, hit refresh one more time, oops, hang on a second. Sorry, I can't see that top of the file. Um, if I refresh it one more time, it should make that turn in button come in. I'm not sure why it didn't come in. See, turn in right there. Right. Every time you're a student there, you should, this will cause a turn. When you map it to Google Classroom, just like we did, each student will get a turn in button. So now guess what, teachers, this is the solution. You want to assign any GeoGebra construction in, uh, and have your students not have GeoGebra accounts. Google Classroom is the setting in which you need to do it. And those four templates that I showed you, you could choose from any one of those four. And you could actually copy the activity with that template within, get rid of all the directions, and then include your own stuff in it, if that makes sense. All right. So let me actually, as a student, really quickly make the equilateral triangle just to prove to my teacher I know how to do this. All right. I need to master this objective. So here we go. All right. There's my work. And I'm going to, so let's say I'll put my signature on here somehow. I will put, say, three dots and a segment right here. I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. And I'm going to turn this in as is. So I hit turn in. And notice it automatically says turned in in Google Classroom, which is nice. So let's, let's now go back and look at it from the role of teacher. I'll go to student work. Right now it's a class of one. If you wanna join this classroom, I'll give you the code after, but uh, notice it says one turned in. Let's check out this student called George Redemo's work. And when I open it up, check it out. Here it is. Isn't that how I left it as a student? And that is what you see as a teacher. So um, that is how you could take, again, any one of these four templates here, uh, you see in the URL, in the post here, and in the YouTube video below, uh, graphing calculator, geometry app. There's a 3D uh, template here and a Google Classroom, uh, I'm sorry, a classic template that you can copy and uh, you make a copy of the activity, get rid of my directions, you, you fill it with your own stuff. All right. Or maybe you just want, maybe you just want to simply copy this. Who knows? Maybe you have it on paper. All the directions are on paper, but you just need a, a canvas for students to work on. So go ahead and copy this and get rid of all this crap up here and just leave that and then you title it and then boom, uh, whatever. And that's what you're now gonna map to Google Classroom. So all the students might need is that. I go back to my profile, okay? And there it is right over here. I put copy, it says copy, whatever. But look, if you look at it right here, right? You see it? That's what, that's what I'll have to now get assigned to Google Classroom by going here and I, I make a new task by sharing it in Classroom. By the way, it is a small applet window, but if you hit that little square right there, that'll make it full screen. So in Classroom or in GeoGebra, it doesn't matter. Oh, come on, how, that, that's like huge, right? You got the whole screen to do your constructions and your work on whatever. So um, that's how you can actually take any, uh, you, those four templates right there. And you could do that. Another option you could also do is search for resources. I've shown people this before, but I'll show you quickly here again. Um, you go to geogebra.org. Let's make this full screen. Go to geogebra. And let me actually go, uh, let's say Pythagorean theorem. Um, I'm looking for actually uh, uh, somebody else's. I'm looking for one of Steve Phelps's uh, resources here. Give me one second, because all my stuff's coming up first. Uh, I got to look for it in a browser. So let me go here and find um, geogebra. We'll go to Pythagorean theorem. And then, uh, yeah, see Steve Phelps here as an activity proof without words. I'm gonna copy that URL, and put it in my other browser here so I can get it quickly. And I say as a teacher, I like this activity, but I wanna add my own questions to it. Well, you know what? I can take Steve's activity and copy it. And I can actually um, title it what I want. I can get rid of this and add some questions. Right. And so at the end of the day, you know, I, uh, I can add a question here just for the heck of it. When was the war of 1812? See what I mean? And um, there you go. And now 
It's uh, like Steve Phelps, you know, created this beautiful resource that illustrates that dynamically illustrates Pythagorean theorem. I go back to my profile and now see right here, I have that, I have my question and I can have my students interact with this. And now I can assign it in Google Classroom just like I did before. So that's a quick uh, summary of how you could take any one of those four blank templates that I showed you, uh, the URL below. You could take any one of any uh, GeoGebra public resource like this beautiful Pythagorean theorem resource that Steve Phelps made um, to help students engage with mathematics conceptually, um, student-centered learning, because that's what it's all about. So hope this helps. And uh, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe and um, a lot more GeoGebra how-tos coming up in the next couple of weeks. So thanks for watching.